Hello and welcome to In a Pickle. My friend Zach Wolf joined me again after a long time. So we're going to talk about the NBA draft getting ready to come in and we're watching it on TV as it's getting ready to go on. But we're going to talk about NBA free agency as well. So the first question that I have for you, Wolf, what do you think of Cousins maybe going to the Lakers? I don't think it's going to happen, brother. Uh, I, I kind of wish it would. I think it would be a cool fit putting him with Kobe, you know, trying to make one last run. But I just don't see it happening, man. They have uh, – actually, I, I was looking at it yesterday, and after Vlade Divac said that it's not going to happen, I was uh, looking into it a little more. They actually might have a deal in place already with Sacramento that might come in tonight where Joseph Randall, Jordan Clarkson, and their second pick would go to the Kings and they would get Cousins. And could you imagine if they got Cousins and then also LaMarcus yeah. Aldridge or somebody that like that? Crazy. Which is what I want to ask you next. What do you think – do you think LaMarcus Aldridge, is he going to leave Portland – I think he's gone, man. I think so, I too. Think he, there's no way he's going to stay. Uh, but, I mean, if he does, I mean, if he does go, I, th- I think he'll draw more people to L.A., and they're going to have a good team this year. Man. The Lakers could get really stacked. I mean, between – if they could get Cousins and Aldridge, then you with Kobe, you already have your big three right there. I mean, you would give away Randall, who's going to be a heck of a player, and maybe uh, D'Angelo Russell that they might be ending up drafting here in a little bit. But, as well, there's a possibility of – Love coming to the LA Lakers after he opted out after his first year in Cleveland. What do you think of that? I think Love is dumb. Uh, first of all, <laughs> for playing in Cleveland and LeBron, if I had a chance to play LeBron, I'd stick with LeBron all the time because you might have a chance to add a championship every single year if you got LeBron on your team. But I mean, I I, I think he's going to end up leaving. I just think that's his. He wants to be the guy. But I think if you know uh, if they get Aldridge or something, he's still not going to be the guy. But what do you think? I still think that. He's going to actually stay in Cleveland. I buy into him wanting to come back. LeBron came out and said he's not going to try and recruit him, which I thought was a little bit silly, but he really wants Love to buy in and want to be in Cleveland, which I buy into, and I think Love will really respect that Mm -hmm. and end up coming back because I think when Love looks at it, what he's going to look at is he wants to win, and when Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, and LeBron James were on the floor all at the same time, during the back half of the season, they were 33-3. and three. Yeah, okay. That's absolutely incredible. That is some scorching marks as far as records go. They're on fire when all three of those guys are on the court. And maybe enter Dwayne Wade into the mix, oh, Zach son. Wolf? That would be awesome. That's just, that's just a dream scenario, man. That, that would be a dream scenario. And I, I, I think it's pretty high likely that it can happen. I think so, too. I think, I mean, the report is that Dwayne Wade wants to either go to the L.A. Lakers or he wants to go to the Cleveland Cavaliers if he leaves Miami. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing that I see from all of it, and I don't know what this means, but his dad, I don't know if he saw this church service, went there and wore a Cavalier shirt (laughs) to the church service, then went golfing the next day and also wore a Cleveland Cavalier shirt. So I don't know. Then there's a guy, I don't know if you also saw this, there's a guy on Twitter who posted a picture of him in a Cleveland Cavaliers jersey with the number three. Dwayne Wade favorited the photo and then started following yeah, the guy. Yeah, him. Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, yeah. Dwayne Wade, what are you doing over there, man? What, Dude, what's I, I what's I your plan? Are you coming to Cleveland? Yeah, I think so. he's like, uh, hey, Love, you're being stupid. I, I'm going to be the smart man and go to Cleveland. You know? Cleveland could have, if, even if Love leaves, Cleveland gets a new big three because if J.R. Smith opts out of his contract, I don't think Cleveland picks it up. I think mm-hmm. at this point, they they understand that J.R. Smith's very hot and cold, and mm-hmm. they want to see maybe yeah, if they can get Dwayne Wade, you'd rather much have rather have Dwayne Wade than definitely. you would J.R. Smith. So, all right, Wolf. Well, the draft's getting ready to start. We're actually under three minutes till the draft starts. So, Wolf, who's your sleeper in the draft? Who's the guy that is not going to be the number one pick because we know it's going to be Carl Anthony Towns most probably? Who do you think is that guy that could be really big in the NBA? The guy that I'm drafting right now will be Justice Winslow, man. I don't, th- I don't think he's getting enough love uh, coming up to the draft, but, man, he's going to be the real deal. I feel you. The, he, this guy's not really underrated. I mean, he's arguably the best player in the draft. D'Angelo Russell, I really like him. So I'm actually I'm going to change my sleeper. I know I told you D'Angelo <laughs> Russell before the show, but he's not really a sleeper at all. I really liked what Frank Kaminsky did in college at Wisconsin. He can shoot from outside. He's really good at posting up. He knows how to drive into the lane if he gets a pick as well. Mm-hmm. And he's a pretty versatile blocker yeah. at the same time. I like Frank Kaminsky. He has good height on him. He's about seven feet. We'll see what the NBA is going. I mean, there's a lot of talk whether the NBA is shifting to a smaller game. But I think true centers can find themselves in the league, as we saw in the NBA Finals. Even though the Cavaliers did not have enough at the end, Timothy Mozgov proved to be very valuable 
for the Cavaliers on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. And then if you add a guy like Frank Kaminsky who can stretch the floor Mm -hmm. at the five, then you have a lot of options there too, and you can still play the small man's game because it's not like he can't guard. I also like Willie Cauley-Stein. I really think he's a big defensive factor that his offensive prowess is not very impressive, but on the defense side of the ball. Yeah. I like Willie Cauley-Stein as well. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Kaminsky kind of reminds me of Josh McRoberts, Mm -hmm. but just better, you know, offensively and stuff. So I don't think... I think he'll, be, he'll, he'll at least be in the league for a long time. I agree. I agree. Well, we're going to leave you. The NBA draft is getting ready to start. You can catch that on ESPN at 7.30 p.m. And for all of you who don't follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitter at NPickle. That's I-N-P-I-C-K-L-E. Like us on Facebook at In a Pickle. You can find us right there. I'm sure if you search it in, not a lot of In a Pickles are going to be there. So check us out. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and then subscribe to us on YouTube. You can find our YouTube channel as well. So uh, we had a lot of fun with this episode. It was good to see my friend Zach Wolf again, my, one of my partners in crime, hoping to get both him and Zach Hudson on the show here soon. So we'll catch you all later. It's been fun. Enjoy the NBA draft. See ya.